Hello, my name is Alicia Shapiro with AINews.com, and today I'm with Dylan Curious, an AI YouTuber and data science. Uh, Dylan, just tell us about what you do for those of people who may not know. All right, well, I take research and I summarize it, I find new tools and I play with them, and I generally try to learn about the psychology of what people need as they transition from this kind of classical world into this more AI-driven world, and I document it all for YouTube. Nice. I love that. And... Building off of that, your mission is to make AI more accessible through your YouTube channel. What's been the most rewarding moment or piece of feedback you received from viewers who found AI more accessible because of your content? Yeah, well, my parents, like, that's funny, that was my mission, but really, I am kind of driven by being left behind. Like, I'm worried, wow. I'm worried that, like, this new technology will come out and I'll be not the early adopter and I won't be able yes. to take advantage of the opportunity. So that's why I do it, but then I bring everyone along on that ride because everybody else has that fear too. Yes. And, uh, you know, that's a tricky one. I think that there's a couple of people who reached out and they asked about what it means for the way that they're raising their children. And that got me thinking about how yeah. different the world is for somebody who's in kindergarten right now yeah. and might develop a relationship with anything like a large language model or an avatar. And that will feel like a friend. So yeah. Yeah, maybe having some of those conversations with real humans who I knew were actually thinking deeply about it. I didn't even think about that aspect of parents raising their kids today in the AI world. Wow. Right. Yeah. Like what kind of education can they learn from these AIs is immense, but also what kind of manipulation or problems or yeah. social Critical issues might. Yeah, skills. right. Oh, wow. And you are a former CTO and now you're an AI YouTuber. How do you balance the deep technical content with the need to keep your videos approachable for a broader audience. Yeah, everything's so far. Like we were talking about before, it's just so quick. And I don't know. I mean, that's the goal is to find insights. I do use large language models. So ChatGPT and Claude do help me summarize long papers. And then, you know, it's mostly just about making it funny by applying it to a stupid situation. Like a lot of times you can find something that's powerful and then be like, how silly is it if you use it to make it like, I just, my last video was like Taylor Swift scoring a touchdown using oh, AI. I love it's that. like, yeah, it's just silly looking, but it also demonstrates how powerful things are becoming. So, yes. yeah. And this is sort of not here, but we were talking about this before. How do you get started in AI that in an accessible way to most business owners? Or like, how do you get started in that? That yeah, I mean, it depends on what it is. ChatGPT is usually everybody's gateway yeah. drug. I feel like that's the, yeah. the tool that over and over again, people are like, well, how does this work? But it's getting integrated into Google Docs in a way where I think oh, that's yeah. probably the next evolution. You're literally just writing documents that you always have since Microsoft Word. And then you see that little glowing star and you ask it to help you with your wording. Yes, I love that. Well, thank you, Dylan, for sharing yeah. your insights and joining us today. It's been real fun to learn about the exciting work you're doing. For more interviews and the latest on AI news, check out AINews.com. Nice.